Welcome everybody, Canadian Silver Saver here, excited to bring you another Silver Hunt Sunday. Welcome back everybody. This week I'm really excited to bring you Silver Hunt Sunday and it's a little bit of a different uh, kind of process of what I've had to do now that uh, you know garage sale season and uh, my local antique market is closed down for the coming winter months. I'm going to have to really pack the igloo tight. Make sure that we stay warm. It's starting to get cold out there for sure. But uh, I've made it some adventures and it turned out to be one of the best things I could have done. I found some great places where I can find, I made some good friends, uh, good connections and uh, a good variety of silver available to me. So let's get to it. Uh, I've got a fair bit to show here. It's a bit of a silver explosion. I'm pretty excited. Uh, thanks for the chat on Saturday, um, Silver Vessel. That was great. And uh, talking to everybody there and some people saw some of the stuff that I have here today already, but uh, let's uh, show you what I've got and uh, what I'm going to do with some of this as well and how I was able to get this silver. So uh, just to show this, because I already I already showed this, I always, uh, basically what I try to do on my Silver Hunt sh Sundays is review what I've got over the last week, my finds. Um, so it's not always done on just the one day. And I, I showed this already, I got this from Bunker Bullion. So I did that on my unboxing, but that was part of this week, so that's going to be featured in there as well. And then I've got the other bunker bars. Oh, they're not coming out of the bag easily. We saw those in my other video, and I encourage you to check out that video. I'll put a link to it there. And there you go. So these were great. They were uh, just uh, some starting my silver, my journey around the silver community, and we saw those. There you go. All right, so then basically uh, what I did was went to my local coin shop just to see what they had available and uh, I went in and talked to the guys about what was going on with the election and had some conversations and I, I kind of get a laugh out of uh, you know kind of the, what people think about what's happening but uh, either way uh, we saw there wasn't a ton of movement and when it all settled down um, and, and reality is everybody is that now is the time we can afford to buy this stuff more than uh, you know, maybe in the future. So let's buy it when we can. A dollar here, a dollar there really is nothing in the grand scheme of things. Uh, this is investments. And uh, if a dollar here, a dollar there didn't is really what mattered, I wouldn't buy some of this stuff. For example, this. So I picked up the new 2017 Kookaburra. And this is a nice one. I checked it out. I got a really clean one. Um, so I'm buying this stuff because silver was a little bit cheaper. Uh, this one I got at a really good price. And it seems that these seem to go up a few dollars every year. And a few dollars may not seem like a lot, but I'll flip some some silver pretty quickly if I can make a few dollars off of a few rounds or a few coins. And then I can buy more. So every, you know, five, six, seven that I sell, I get one free ounce of sil silver out of it. And I don't hold a lot of personal attachment to any of this stuff. So, um some of it I do. But, uh, Australian kangaroo. This is my first kangaroo, so that's why I have this. Otherwise, I just would have picked up a fun round or a maple or something like that. So again, I only buy this when I can get it pretty close to spot uh, or pretty close to the same price as I would a round or something uh, cheaper. Uh, the reason I do that is there is a collectible side to me that needs to be fulfilled, a collector in me. But, it, you know, and that's why when I buy this stuff or when I'm even talking about it, if I want to, it doesn't matter the, you know, dollar fluctuation, come on, focus, there we go, dollar fluctuation in the market here or there, I'm still going to buy this because I, I enjoy it. I was going in to buy, um, you know, a few ounces of silver anyways, and if I spend three or four uh, extra dollars on top of my, my purchase, I'm more than okay with that, um, for sure. I need to feature this more. It's kind of, it's, these guys are taking over the shot. Bunker Bullion, Hi Ho Silver, amazing stuff. Sorry, I can't help it. <laughs> Just beautiful. So then, as well, when I was, uh, where did it go? I picked up some of the constitutional silver, and I picked up a couple silver dollars from there as well. And this has some really nice toning. I have my gloves on. I didn't take it out of the packaging. packaging. But uh, look at the toning on that. It's beautiful. And I got it for a good price. They had a bin of them that I, they let me go through before they uh, went to it, and he scored, he saw a, I thought I was going to score a good silver dollar that he saw before I got to it. But anyways, I got this one as well. Nice clean one. I think it's, it's been clean for sure. But uh, again, bullion. Sometimes these are worth a bit more. Uh, it's got a little bit of toning on it, so it might not be clean too bad. No, no, it's clean for sure. There you go. But anyways, 
So I picked those up. I got a good price on those. And I like to pick up something with some history as well. They're a little bit different. That toning on the silver dollar was really nice. So now it was time to, uh, the, some of the stuff that arrived earlier, I'm going to show you at the end of the video. I'm not going to show you now. Uh, I'm going to go a little bit out of order here and you'll see why. Uh, it's kind of, it's really, really nice. Um, okay, we're going to move this up now. Sorry, I love it, but I want to feature what I got this week too. We'll show it all off in a minute. So we went to the local antique markets and I picked up... Um, some constitutional U.S. silver, and I did not pay the price you see there. It's a nice half dollar, Kennedy half, uh, nice and simple. I don't have a lot of these, so I just thought I'd grab that. Uh, something nice. I got a good price on it. I gave him an offer for the two and said yes, and I picked up Franklin as well. This is my only Franklin. Um, I just don't have any others. I don't see them. Um, and again, I didn't pay that either, but uh, close. But I, uh, and this is Canadian, everybody, Canadian dollars. Um, but yeah, I don't have any, so I thought that was great to pick up and something to show off to everybody. Say, hey, you know, what do you guys think of this stuff? Do you, do you buy a lot of constitutional? I don't see a lot of it in this community, but uh, some people love it, right? So, so I grab it, come on, focus. Yeah, it doesn't want to focus on the Franklin. So anyways, also pick this up. I just put it in the coin case because it's kind of interesting. These guys are really friendly, really awesome people. They let me go through some of their, he opened up his kind of little personal box. Um, just a different round, nice and simple. Has some nice toning on it. The truck on there. I, I need to look up a little bit of history of this. I'm sh sure it's some type of shout out to truck drivers or uh, rigs or something like that. So that was really cool. And again, this, this was a couple dollars over spot. Didn't pay much for this at all. Uh, really happy with a purchase like this. So I'll, that's what I go in to buy. I go in to buy rounds like this that are different, unique, and really don't cost me any more than buying just basic silver or a, a you know, bar of silver or whatnot or maple or, or something like that. And usually you can get these a bit cheaper. They're more fun because there's a variety. We were on the chat there and uh, Mr. Zeke pointed something out and he said he might lose a few subscribers from it. And I don't know about that. I think that, uh, you know, we can, we're all going to let our, our own opinions be there, but, um, and, and support that. But, uh, I like variety and maples and walkers are kind of boring. They really are. And, uh, you know, so when I go in and I buy my rounds, it's nice to buy these cause just because my stack has a bit of variety to it. And I don't pay any more for it. Um, I picked this up. So this was at the antique. So we drifted around and where I was had two antique markets outside the, uh, um, it's like a farmer's market area. But this is a 1920 um, pe or peso, Libertad. On the side there, you know, everybody knows I like my Libertads. Um, Libertad, or, or some people just call them the Onza, but that's... But this one here is interesting, because it's uh, 0 0.720 silver, so it's not quite pure. Um, a little bit different. And then the, the date is a key date, apparently, the 20, but it's only if it's got been double struck. So I got a good price on it anyways, and I thought it was different and unusual. I don't get a lot of this, so I was there, first trip, so yeah, I'll treat myself. That was more of a treat than anything. Just like, like something unique. And it's still silver. Then I got myself a beast. My first beast. Queen's beast. This thing is fantastic. Like I have to say, I, I, I was wanting this for a while. The premium on it's a little stupid. I treated myself again. Uh, just not, this isn't about just the plain silver value. I don't plan on them selling this unless somebody wants to give me a really good price for it because they come become scarce or something, which whatever. But this Queen's Bees, I love it. it they, they're beautiful. The detail on these is fantastic. That lion is mean, badass. It's a beast wearing that crown. It, it's fantastic. So um, definitely very happy with this. And I've just done an order uh, for my trip around... Uh, the YouTube community from Pit Bullion, who's blackened one of these for me, plus a couple others. So I'm excited to show that off soon. So shout out to Pit Bullion. Great guy. Um, great, great chats we had uh, trying to figure out what exactly I wanted to get. So I got this as well. This was sitting in one of the cabinets at the back of the antique market. Actually in the same cabinet as this. Um, at the one antique market, the first one we went to. And uh, and it was this. And everybody's seen, I had just got one of these the other uh, few weeks back. Uh, this is not the same one, I promise. Um, the other one has actually gone to our friend uh, in the community there. He might show it off later. I won't give his name away. Um, but we're going to do, uh, we've done a trade as well. So, But he decided he wanted uh, a couple of my Lunars, and he picked them up. And uh, so I grabbed this one as well. And this one, 
Same thing. It looks real clean. Looks real nice. Got a good price on it as well. And I'm flipping this one. Uh, same thing. I, I, I don't plan on keeping the Lunars. I like them. But there's just a certain part about me. If I'm going to spend a dollar or more on this stuff, this is a little different. But this here, um, eh, you know, two have come my way. So if it doesn't happen to sell quickly, I won't be upset. But uh, I'll sell this and then the premium I'll buy or what I get above the, the silver, like what I paid, I'll buy some more silver with it. And that's how this is happening, guys. Like on the chat, they're asking me, how, you know, how you how you buying the silver? And that's a lot of what I do. I flip a lot of what I had um, or what I have. A, a friend of mine uh, said he wanted some silver. He didn't want to make a trip. Did I want to sell any? I unloaded some of my more, um, you know, more basic bars and stuff because he didn't want to pay any extra premiums or anything like that. And, uh, you know, we... Trade, sold some silver basically and then I use that to buy some of the other stuff too so uh, you know the the higher premium that's where I make my profits on it um, the lower premium stuff I'll use it for quick flipping a few dollars here and there uh, and then just to diversify my stack so because of that I ended up picking this up so I flipped some of that uh, because he, he had done that and I'm, I'm quite heavy on the silver side uh, and I decided to get myself my second panda so I got one of these a few weeks back um, always good to have some gold, everybody, and eventually it's for your long-term gains. Uh, Ikeo was talking about that again on the chat, and I agree entirely. And then, because I'm rambling on, this is a long video. I love this stuff. I picked up some of these. I picked up five Monarch bars. I actually got these a while back, and I kind of forgot I put the order in. So I went into my LCS. They called me and said, are you coming to get this stuff? I was like, oh, for sure. So because of what I paid for it back then, I got this below current spot price, uh, which was nice kind of nice to walk in and pay less than what they were selling them for by a couple of dollars, right? So, or a dollar. Uh, it was nice. So this stuff's fun. And I tell you, there's something about holding that, playing with that, just, I don't know. There's, there's something extremely primal and satisfying about holding real money like that. And then the last thing, everybody, um, that I picked up that everybody uh, had seen in the chat, I'm just going to adjust the camera a bit here because we're losing room. There we go. That's a little bit better back that up all right it was this guy and they saw it on the chat but i picked up a few of these but the, the other two were from somewhere else these are brand new it's the 10 ounce tree of life canada and it's a 50 dollar coin i actually, actually just won an auction last night for a 200 dollar coin but i got below 200 dollars interesting but uh, so I made money on that automatically. Plus, it's got some collector value to it. But this guy here just released. I encourage everybody to go to silvergoldbull.ca or go through my link on my page. It actually will help me if you click the link and uh, they give me shout outs and stuff like that. Um, if you go through there and you pick up some of this stuff, uh, it's beautiful. They have an introductory price right now. It's witty. Uh, it's, it, it's really nice. And uh, I think I'm going to do uh, some type of trade or something with Mr. Zeke out there because I picked up two of these from Silver Gold Bull and then I went into my LCS for the uh, um, for the, the Gold Panda and I grabbed this because it was there and I decided I could and I wanted one and I didn't want to wait anymore for them to ship it to me so I'm going to exchange one I'm probably going to flip one down the road and then the other one I'll keep for me because they're pretty damn awesome so hey there's me Look at that, a little duck. That's cool. So I love this. Hopefully everybody enjoyed the video, enjoyed what I picked up this week. A lot of great things, and I really feel kind of spoiled this week. Um, it was a silver explosion. This happened because of some flips, um, some great finds, and definitely treating myself. Uh, you know, sometimes you need to do that, and, you know, maybe this can show everybody that regardless of what happens with the market, buy your silver. A dollar here and there is, doesn't matter. This is for long term, a little bit of roller coaster, and stuff like this is because you want to have some fun. You really want to enjoy it. Um, treat yourself a little bit here and there. Beautiful. Hope, hopefully everybody enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, give me a shout. If there's anything here, if you're interested in the uh, Lunar Dragon here, give me a shout. I will certainly offer that to you at a good price. Um, we'll talk. But uh, stay tuned. I've got some great uh, videos coming up where I'm traveling, doing my journeys around YouTube. And uh, looking forward to sharing that with you. Everybody take care. Canadian Silver Saver, out.